absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. They appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So, with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And, of course, the right service into the box. The action has already started. Lovely bit of skill there. Plenty waiting in the middle. Shapes to shoot! Cooper's not concerned by that. Nantes are seeing more of the ball, but still aren't carrying much goal threat. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gets it back. Defenders on the back foot. Plays it out to the flank. He's got options out wide. Oh, that is lovely footwork. You can get that clear. He's dead, and the shot! Gets his foot in there. Well, the ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Oh, that's neat. Place it into the box. Goes for the cross. Keeper's ball. Has a hit! It's broken loose. It's come back out. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Beautifully done. That was always going to be the keepers. The three's had a look, and he's pulled his whistle for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So we reached the halfway point. Nantes really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half, and while they would be disappointed not to have broken through, obviously, the chances will come, provided they can keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives, I feel. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. And the game has already risen. Ronnie Lopez! Attempt, it's the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. That's 
to throw. Anyone's game, nil nil. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Gorgeous control there. Looking for a decent ball in. Turns and goes back. That's pretty clear. It is a foul. And he has shown him a yellow card. The player's protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? He's gone for goal, and the ball's come out. That's on the end, a big chance! A great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Defending of the desperate variety. Nantes merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Forward it goes. Tries to dink it in. Nantes showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Well, they're supposed to be chasing a goal, and yet there's no urgency or sense of awareness. They've got to wake up. Hoists it forward. Could be a chance here. Chance! And the referee brings it to a close. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. A little cutting edge at either end, and it finishes nil-nil. Your final thoughts, Jim? Nantes can always take more positives from a result like this. Yes, there is some tidying up to do, but some real promise too. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.